how to switch on your system without a power switch. We're going to jump this motherboard, the pins on this motherboard to turn it on so everything's plugged in. Power supply, graphics card, CPU, everything, and we're good to go. All we need is a screwdriver and to locate the power prongs. So, this is a front header, front panel header. It's got various connections to like reset button, hard drive activity, and of course, the power switch. So you identify which two prongs are for the power as you can see plus and minus PW that's for the power so it's those two there so I've got my little screwdriver and I'm going to touch them and the system should come up on that screen so the first thing to do is obviously you're going to have to turn the power on here's the power switch Make sure you don't drop anything onto the motherboard once the power's on. You might damage the motherboard or the CPU. Now we're going to turn it on. So here we go, just going to touch them two there and then it should come on. Always check your motherboard manual just to make sure. Right here, see those two there. Power, it's tallied with the front panel header, those two there, okay here it goes, RGB Wraith, Prism Wraith cooler should light up, okay so I'm just going to touch him till it comes on, yeah, system is on, and that should come on if everything is good to go. Oh, there we go. 36 degrees, so it's cooling down quick. There you go, the fans are on. GPU and CPU, and the temperatures drop fairly quickly. 26 degrees idle, it's got no operating system, anything plugged in. Just the main components on this motherboard memory, CPU, and GPU. Anyway, now you know how to turn your systems on without a power switch. Especially useful if you've got new components, you want to test them before you rip everything out of your existing rig and replace them. Just test them first that they work. So it's useful. Now you know. And turn it off. All you gotta do is flip the switch and off it all goes.